And welcome back to News Channel 3 Live at 5. I'm Kate Tillotson. I'm Andy Dominiana. You know, in the summer of 1950, what is now WWMT News Channel 3 began broadcasting a television signal here in West Michigan as WKZO TV. And, yeah, and this month we have been taking a look back at some of our station's memorable moments with the help of Chief Meteorologist Keith Thompson. And Keith is joining us again now with another update tonight on some of the familiar faces you'll recall from our past. Keith. Well, you know, Andy, last Monday gave you a few of them. There are so many, so just trying to give a few more. And we're going way back into time for this first one here. You know, in 65 years of television, there have been obviously quite a few personalities who have come and gone. And often you, the viewer, are left wondering, where did that person go? And what is he or she doing today? Here's an update. Back in the early 1950s, when WKZO-TV was broadcasting from the old Burdick Hotel in downtown Kalamazoo, Peg Small was there on the air. I started in 1950. I say I was there till 53. She had just graduated from the University of Michigan, had worked for a short time on WKZO radio, and soon found herself in front of a camera. We never had cue cards or anything like that. I mean, it was all brand new. We didn't know what we were doing. And so the light would come on, and I, I had rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed. Light came on, and <laughs> couldn't remember anything. Peg says it was also new then, so it seems those making television in Kalamazoo in those early years were oftentimes making it up as they went. We didn't have any, uh, any uh, models or anything to go by around here. And the things that I saw on television were the lady with the refrigerator, you know, and you know, all that. And so that's all I knew. And so anyway, it was it was a start. After a few years at WKZO and with the help of Irving Gilmore himself, Peg went to New York City to put the drama skills she learned at the University of Michigan to work on Broadway. And she spent a few decades in the Big Apple doing just that. Well, Peg returned to Kalamazoo after retiring from Broadway, still makes her home right here in West Michigan. And now, how about a special hello and update from a few other faces you may remember from the last quarter century. Hello, West Michigan. I'm Amy Sweezy coming to you from Orlando, Florida. I worked at WWMT from 1995 until 2002 as part of the weather team with Keith Thompson. I'm now doing morning weather at the NBC and CW stations in Central Florida. Since my husband and I moved here, we've had three children who are now 10, 9, and almost 8. I still have family and friends in West Michigan and love getting up there to visit, but only when it's warm. No more snow for me. So next time you're visiting Disney World or Daytona Beach or the Kennedy Space Center, tune in to WESH. I love knowing fellow Michiganders are enjoying my Florida sunshine. Happy birthday, News Channel 3. Hi there, I'm Cindy Dole. I anchored the news on WWMT from 1989 to 1995. Wow. Some incredible memories. All of you who worked with me on Channel 3, but then you in the community. Fabulous places like South Haven and Saugatuck and Grand Haven and Holland. And of course, the Ionia Free Fair. I love you guys in West Michigan. Thank you so much for the times. Right now, I live in Southern California where I have a home improvement media company. And right now, I'm here in Northeastern Michigan on vacation. But I just wanted to say thank you for everything and hello, West Michigan. Hello, West Michigan. I'm Jamie Bull. And I'm Meredith Bull. You may remember me as Meredith Swanson when Jamie and I anchored the news mm -hmm. together at WWMT. Those were the years from 1992 to 2004. Great time in our lives. It's the place, Kalamazoo, where all four of our children were born. That's right. In fact, now two of our oldest are heading to mm -hmm. college. I was pregnant on the air with them, hard to believe, and our twins are heading to high school. Uh, right now, still working in television. I work for WBTV, the CBS affiliate, right here in Charlotte, North Carolina. And I'm a marketing consultant and very busy still with four boys. We still have fond memories of WWMT, a great place to work, a great family environment. Uh, we think of everyone there all the time. Happy anniversary, WWMT. Oh, and it's great uh, catching up with all of those folks, and yeah. especially talking to Peg, who was actually here when it all started in downtown right. Kalamazoo at the Burdick Hotel, and then bringing it forward all the way to today. And we're going to continue trying to update some folks on the web, so we'll keep this going, because I know everybody wants to know. Everybody has somebody they want to know. It's so funny to yeah. see these faces on our air again, you I know. Know, and I've known them for years. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, you know, we didn't age. Now, they might have. Nah. <laughs> we look exactly the same. Not one bit. They That's have right. so many children now. That's <laughs> I know. one yeah. of the biggest changes, isn't it? Yep. Thanks, Keith.